Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel and Google Sheet needs. Today I want to share with you a nice little file that I created um, for student retention. It could be used for student retention or employee retention or any kind of model that you want to understand. How do um, how does uh, you know changes between t different uh, time periods affect something? So in this case, I'm giving an example with some sort of a university or college that have students enrolling and students remaining, and they want to understand how many students they're going to have every semester um, or every year. And this is supposed to help them understand, you know, how many faculty members they need, how many classes, rooms, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so first of all, there's the, the enrollment plan. Only two sheets here, right? Enrollment plan and simulation. Enrollment plan is where you set up your, uh, basically your analysis. So column A is the programs. So I have different programs here, like accounting, biochemistry, chemical engineering, et cetera, et cetera. And this could be, of course, anything you want. Here I have columns for the semesters. These are gonna be the new students that are enrolling. So for every semester, and every program, there should be a number. It could be zero, of course. There's no um, obligation here. You have the totals per semester, total per year, just so you can see everything. On the top, there's some formulas that help uh, for the other sheet simulation. If you want, you can just hide them. Uh, for me, it doesn't matter. Then there's this part, the percentage of retention for next semester. So I've built this for, you know, uh, four, uh, five semesters. So basically this number is 100%. This means that 100% of the students that enrolled on the first semester will continue to the next. So if 10 started in semester one, they will continue to semester two. And if 20 were enrolled in semester two, they will continue, et cetera, et cetera. And you could just have different percentages for different programs in different um, semesters. Then... On the right, you have the returning semester students. So these are the number of students that are coming back. Basically, it's the retention. And then you have the um, total students. So these would be the new students plus the um, returning. So you can see the returning is taking the uh, uh, information from the simulation, okay, minus whatever the new students, just because of the way the formula is built. And the total students is, of course, the two of them put together. And again, you have the totals on top and the total per year. And of course, you can build it however you want. You can use different uh, methods. You could have years instead of semesters. If, you, For example, you build this for employees. Um, before I jump to the simulation part, I really would appreciate if, if you enjoyed this video to subscribe on the subscribe button, hit on the like, leave a comment uh, to help this channel grow. Um, so now for the second part, let's say a little bit more of the tricky part, the simulation. So in the simulation part, the first column is the program. And basically, I want to have five rows for each program because I have five semesters or five changes. Then on the years, I have the first row, which is only showing the new students. Uh, sorry, first semester. And then I have the retention, which is basically the transition between um, the semesters. Okay, you see this? So here it's just, and this is where the, um, the uh, this value here helps me for the index match. I'm basically combining year and semester and using index match to locate those, that number, that's the first row. The second row is going to take, again, index match, but this time it's going to pull the retention. So it's an index match between these numbers and the program. You can see in the formula. And I'm multiplying it by the last semester. So it's the, the number um, one square up and one square to the left. And I'm using round down. So you could use round up, round, whatever you want. That's what I use. So basically, you can see that the first, first, um, uh, let's say, uh, on this uh, um, diagonal, the first one is always taking into account the next one. So you have basically 
these formulas are the same and you have the top one which is different with that pulls only the new students because that's the uh, first one um, yeah so that's pretty much it now this result is of course the returning students and now you understand why I had to take out the new students because the sum if also pulls the first line of course I could do it I could have uh, used another trick but this was the most easiest and simple so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video um, if you did please subscribe leave a like and catch uh, more videos take care